With over half a million students enrolled, JavaScript 30 is one of the most popular vanilla JavaScript courses out there. But is it worth your time and brain power? In today's video, I'm showing you the details and features of JavaScript 30. Hey, what's up developers, RTC here, showing you the inner workings of the ever so popular JavaScript 30. <laughs> Who is this Wes Boss dude? Well, Wes is well known around the webosphere. He's a web developer, speaker, and instructor from Ontario, Canada. And according to his bio, he's been making websites for over 20 years. JavaScript 30 is his free JavaScript course. And as I mentioned earlier, it has over 500,000 students with no sign of slowing down. So let's see what this thing is all about. I'll go over the layout, the course modules, and I'll also show you some of the projects you build. Before I dive into these modules, let me share a little about the platform itself and my impressions. JavaScript 30 is one of the few JavaScript video courses I've seen that aren't on a major platform like Udemy or Teachable. So right away, the interface really grabbed me. The styling elements, like the fonts, then the navigation, it's really smooth, but at the same time, it's edgy. This is a nicely designed interface, really easy to navigate, but it feels, it feels cool. I feel cool. Yeah, man, I feel super cool. Now getting into the course content, it starts off as one might expect with a brief intro video, and then it's on to the first project, a JavaScript drum machine. This project has you implementing things like data attributes, query selectors, event listeners, the current time property, the add method, and a lot more vanilla JavaScript along with CSS styling. The end result is a funky little drum machine that you can play using the keys on your keyboard. And this is just day one of your JavaScript 30 adventure. The video's runtime is just under 20 minutes, which in the era of TikTok can seem like a death sentence. However, you don't have to do this video in one sitting. Sure, the course is called JavaScript 30, but what happens if you turn it into JavaScript 60 or JavaScript 90? Absolutely nothing. It just takes you a bit longer to complete. So if the drum machine project seems a little bit too intense, you can do it over a few days or a week or even more. On the other hand, if you're a hard charger, you might feel like cranking out this entire course over a weekend. In day two's JavaScript challenge, you'll build a clock with vanilla JavaScript and CSS. And just like in the drum machine project, you'll be using JavaScript along with CSS to build this one. As you can see here, you're not only using ES6, but since you're building a clock, you're also implementing a lot of numbers. So if your math skills are a little rusty, be prepared. You'll also be using some relatively advanced CSS stuff like the transition timing function. The next 28 days of the challenge are, well, challenging. And honestly, it's pretty hard to critique a well-produced JavaScript course that's free. I mean, it's free. It's free. But at the same time, this course isn't for everyone. While it's true that you're not using frameworks, compilers, libraries, or boilerplate, you do need to have a working knowledge of JavaScript. Because keep in mind, JavaScript 30 is a project-based course. So Wes Boss doesn't teach you stuff like loops, conditionals, variables, functions, and all the other foundational programming concepts. And extending it further, that goes for the ES6 stuff as well. If you don't know how template literals work in JavaScript, for example, JavaScript 30 might get frustrating pretty quickly. Throughout this course, rather than learning the whys of something works, you're learning the hows. How to build a drum kit, how to build a clock, how to work with the web speech API. You're building and implementing. And this can be a really cool way to get some experience with vanilla JavaScript. But I also want to add that if you don't understand why you're doing what you're doing in this course, don't feel bad. I have a lot of great Code Newbie course recommendations on this channel, some of which are popping up on your screen right now. And in my opinion, after completing any one of these courses, you should feel confident to crank out some of these super fun projects here on JavaScript 30. And once you get that experience under your belt, JavaScript 30 is not only going to make a lot more sense, it'll probably be a lot more rewarding since you can now understand why you're doing what you're doing. So is JavaScript 30 worth it? 
If you have JavaScript experience, if you're familiar with ES6, yes, I think this course is totally worth checking out. And really, JavaScript 30 is a 30-day challenge rather than a course. Whatever you want to call it, JavaScript 30 I thought was fun, it's fast-paced and engaging. It also has all the production values of a paid course. So I didn't get distracted by poor audio quality, sloppy video edits, or other technical shortcuts that seem to come standard with most free courses these days. On a final note, Wes also offers some premium JavaScript courses like Beginner JavaScript, React for Beginners, Full Stack Advanced React and GraphQL, and a few others. I've reviewed some of these courses in my Wes Boss review article over on realtoughcandy.com. It's in the description box of this video if you'd like to check that out. So what do you developers think of JavaScript 30? Is it worth it? Is it still worth it? Let me know in the comments below. And if this video was helpful, please smash that like button, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Code on and prosper, and I will see you in the next video.